Here's how to memorize everything about graphite and diamond in 60 seconds. A simple diamond has four sides, which reminds you that in diamond, each carbon atom forms four covalent bonds with other carbon atoms. For graphite, you can use the T, H, R and E to almost make three, which reminds you that in graphite, each carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atoms. The H and R in graphite can also remind you that it exists as hexagonal rings, which can slide over each other. This makes graphite soft, whereas diamond is hard. The E at the end of graphite tells you that there is an electron that's delocalized in each carbon atom. This allows it to conduct electricity as an electrical charge can be carried throughout the structure. Diamond, however, does not have an E, so it doesn't conduct electricity as it doesn't have any free moving electrons or ions. You need letters from both diamond and graphite to write the word giant. This reminds you that both of these are giant covalent structures. Giants are very strong and have a high height, which tells you that they both have many strong covalent bonds that need a lot of energy to break, which means they have high melting points. 